Hey everyone, how's it going? Five Finger Shuffle back here with another video, and I have a whole bunch of information for you today. So for starters, if you see behind me here and right here, I did get in the t-shirts that we ordered for all the giveaways. Um, so if you did win one of the giveaways, they will be sent out at some point this week. Um, I got them actually way sooner than I thought I was going to. They look fantastic. Um, but I wasn't expecting them so soon, so I don't even have the, the stuff to send them out yet. So I gotta go to the store, get the envelopes, and all that kind of stuff. But... They look really, really good. Here's the one I have on. Every day I'm shuffling. Uh, if you guys are interested in these, they a couple of them, I, did, I do have extra, so a few of them will be available. Uh, but the rest of them will be for giveaways, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the next giveaway is going to be when we hit 500 followers on Twitch. So if you're not already following the channel, go do that now. It's twitch.tv slash five finger shuffle. Um, that is it for the giveaway stuff and the t-shirts. I am super excited and it's nice to have something behind me so you just don't have the blank wall there. Uh, next up, I want to talk about the boosted summons and whether or not it's worth it. And then finally at the end, we have news on the new Common Disc event that's starting tomorrow, so stay tuned until the end if you want to hear about the Common Disc event. Uh, if you don't want to hear about the Boosted Summons, then you can of course just skip forward to that. Um, so first of all, I've been getting a lot of questions this week especially about the Boosted Summons and whether or not it's worth it. Because a lot of early game players, they hear they need a Snake Lady and they see this chance for a Boosted Summon and they want to know if they should be doing it. So you come in here and it costs 85 gems uh, just to do one boosted summon. So I can, all you have to do to see the odds is to click on this little question mark in the top right hand corner here and it'll bring you the odds. I'm not going to bore you guys with going through that because I've already written out all the information for you uh, so you can kind of understand what the odds are and whether or not you can make your own decision as to whether or not it's worth it. So for starters, what we have to do is we have to understand there's 34 diff sorry, 31 different four stars in the game. So normally you have an 8% chance at getting lasers from a light dark or sorry, you get 8% chance of getting lasers from a disc. That works out to odds of 1 in 12.5 discs you're going to get lasers. So it's actually a little lower I think than we thought it was at the beginning. I think a lot of people said 1 in 11, but it's 1 in 12.5. So, what does that work out to be? Um, actually, you know what, let's save that. Let's move on to the boosted summons. So these boosted summons claim that you get an extra 2, per, two times chance for boosted summons. That sounds amazing, it sounds like, hey, we're going to get, if I summon here, I'm going to get a snake lady. But what we really have to do is we have to break it down and see what the odds would be of actually getting a snake lady from regular summons so that we would know what it's like to what the odds are of getting it the other way um so normally you have odds for each individual one so for the nature the water and the fire one you have a 0 0.25 percent chance of summoning any of the three so basically it works out to a 1 in 400 chance. So if you summon 400 discs, you should get one nature, one fire, and one water. Uh, if the odds were perfect, which of course they're never going to be, but that's what it should work out to be. So if you're just looking for any snake lady, it's going to be 3 in 400. I know a lot of people want the water one, so if you're trying to specifically get the water one, your odds are 1 in 400, and if you're trying to get any of them, it's 3 in 400. Um, so that's not very good, obviously. So now you have to go into what is the boosted rate. So they have said that the boosted rate is 0.57% each, which works out to be one in every 175 summons. So if you're, again, if you're looking for the water one only, it's one per 175 summons. And if you're looking for the... For any of them, it's 3 in 175, which works out to about 1 in 58. So if you're looking for any Snake Lady, and you're purely by doing these boosted summons, 
you have to do 58 summons on average to get her. Now you could get her sooner, but you also could get her a lot later. So those 58 summons are going to work out to 4,930 gems it's going to cost you. You can see here, uh, currently, I only have 900 gems. I would need five times that just to get a single snake lady. Just one. And it might not even be the element I want. So, quickly, let's jump out here and go to the shop. Let's go to bundles. Actually, no, let's go to refill. The most gems you can get from any single pack is this one here, the Horde of Gems. You can get 3,000 for $100. So basically, it's going to cost you, because you need 4,930 gems, it's going to cost you $200 to get one snake lady if you do it that way. So let's just link that, let that sink in for a little bit. Um, that is absolutely outrageous, and there's no way you should be doing that. To put it in perspective, with 5,000 gems, I normally farm about 500 gems worth a day. Uh, when I'm just doing dungeons. So coming in here, I go to boss raids, and I'm either doing Elder Drake, or I'm doing Steel Widow, and just doing Steel Widow 10 over and over and over, and using my gems to refresh energy, and then occasionally I'll come in and use some of the gold I get in the black market to pick up a disc. You can see I bought this disc here. Over the course of a day, over 24 hours of using those 500 gems, I end up getting approximately 20 summons a day. Sometimes more, sometimes less, but I get about 20 summons a day. So at 500 gems, that that's basically 5,000 gems is 10 days worth of grinding. So over those 10 days, if you get 20 discs a day, that's 200 summons. So if we go back and we look at our odds, and the normal odds were three out of 400, you should get one out of, if you just grind those and get discs out of it and then summon the, summon the discs you get from farming, you should get approximately one and a half snake ladies just from doing that. And really, if you spend them on boosted summons, you would only get one. But the difference is when you do it with farming, you get all the gold, you get all the gear, you get everything you need, you get other food, you get other fuzzle puffs, uh, you get all this other stuff on top of the summons that you would get otherwise, and you still have a, a greater chance of getting a Snake Lady. So in terms of the boosted summons and whether or not it's worth it, honestly, it's a massive just cash grab, and there's there's no way you should ever be doing boosted summons, even if you're desperate, because really, just go start grinding, and you're gonna get that champion faster and for less gems, and you'll get more for each gem in the process than you would otherwise. So, just because I was curious, I decided then to look at the like dark summons because I know a lot of people are like, well, I, I have all the regular ones and I really want that dark snake lady. Should I summon for the dark snake lady? The odds for the light and dark snake ladies are 0.1% each. So, if it's, basically it works out to, one, 0.1% is one in a thousand summons to get the dark snake lady and then another one in a thousand to get the light one so to get a thousand to do a thousand summons you need 85,000 gems 85,000 gems if you come in and look at those packs at 3,000 gems a piece is going to cost you $2,800 <laughs> to summon a dark snake lady on average so if you have an extra $2,800 to throw around because you want the Dark Snake Lady, then please do. Um, but if you're like the rest of us and that sounds outrageous, then I would stick to farming. It's just not worth it. I'm very sorry. Uh, sorry to burst your bubble, but it's just the way it is. It's not worth it to do these boosted summons. And I wanted to do a video kind of showing the rates and how outrageous it is to even consider doing these boosted summons because it's so expensive um you should never even consider wasting your gems this way because like i said you will get the snake lady faster just by grinding dungeons so the next thing i want to talk about is the common disc event so huge news i know there's a lot of rumors about it last week um where's this picture 
So this picture was leaked last week. We saw this uh, shark with the common disc in its mouth. And a lot of people were saying common disc event and we were all worried about whether it would be or not. But we now have details. So I'm just gonna read it out to you. It's only on my phone. Uh, it hasn't been released yet. The release date is officially tomorrow at reset, I believe. So 1800 hours GMT, which I believe is reset. I'm honestly not sure. Um, but it, and it runs until September 13th at six or well, four, what is that? 359 GMT. So just, that would be just before reset. So here are the stats for this event. Okay. So event rewards. So this is just the normal rewards, um, that you, if you spend them, you'll get these rewards. 100 outfit tokens for 10 common discs, a rare disc, a super fuzzle puff, two rare discs, so we're up to three rares, 50 gems, uh, one three star max level fuzzle puff, three more rare discs, another 150 tokens, four rare discs. I don't know if this is just, I, I don't know if we keep getting these on top of each other, these discs. I, I assume we do. Um, so that'd be a total of 10 rare discs from this event and then 25 LD shards and then 200 more outfit tokens and then another 25 LD shards. So we end up getting a light dark disc and a light dark disc, 10 rare discs, 50 gems and some fuzzle puffs and stuff like that. And then... There will be the special event shop, which I know is what everyone really wanted. Um, this was crazy last time. The, the last time we, uh, we had this event, you could get a lot of free energy from it. It looks like this time they don't have that option unless they just forgot to type it in. Um, but you can spe trade in your common discs for various rewards. The rewards that you can trade them in for are gold, rare discs, elemental discs, Tudor fuzzle puffs, light dark shards, and double XP boosts. So it doesn't look like we can get all the free energy that we could get last time. Uh, I guess they decided that cost them too much money. But all in all, that's still a great event. That And it sounds like if it's going until the 13th, I'm just bringing up my calendar here. So it starts tomorrow, goes until the 13th which means you basically have from now until Sunday to get the first set of rewards. And then the shop should reset on Sunday and you should be able to get all those rewards again. So we're not sure how many light dark discs and how many elemental discs and stuff you can buy with your, your common discs, but whatever amount they allow you to buy, it looks like you'll be able to buy them twice because the shop should reset. Uh, unless they do it the other way and they just say, this is how many you're allowed to get for the whole event. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends. I know there's a lot of information in this video. Um, hopefully you guys are psyched for this event. I am totally psyched for this event. I've been waiting for a common disc event forever. Uh, as you can see here, I've got over 5,000 common discs, so I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm really psyched for those tutors. I personally am gonna be putting them into my Alia, who is almost max skilled. She only needs three more and she'll be max skilled. So I'm super excited. Um, also super excited to get with these t-shirts. Looking forward to giving them away to you guys. I hope you guys like them. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we will see you soon, hopefully on Twitch. Again, the address there is twitch.tv slash five finger shuffle. Thanks again for watching and have a great day guys. See you soon, bye.